We started to hook the clematis. Clematis is made up of three parts. Flower, flower of Hubei. There are petals. Let's start by knitting the heart. Use the yellow line with the line first. Go all the way around your little finger. To the finger. index finger. Make open on your middle finger. Hold the thread. Use the thicker end. Crochet. Through this coil on your middle finger, start with a standing pin. Pull the wire through the coil. Wind the thread and hook the coil on the crochet hook. This is a standing pin. Hook six short pins in the first turn. The crochet needle is threaded through the coil where the needle is Take raised. to come over. Pull through the two coils of a crochet hook. So the first stitch is hooked. We use marker buttons. Hand this needle from the first stitch for him. The second crochet stitch goes through the lifting loop. The hook line is one and hooked through. Continue through the loop. The hook line is one and hooked through. Through the loop of the hooking needle and winding together with hooking. Through the loop of the needle hooking and winding together with hooking. I still need to hook a needle. Through the loop of the hooking needle and winding together with hooking. Take it off and pull the end of the wire. Tighten the coil. And then you need and the pin of the number buckle is hooked with a draw. Let pin. it form a circle. Crochet through the first stitch of this stitch. Hook the thread over. I'm going to go through the loop on the crochet hook. Tighten a little bit. Adjust the coil. Then start the second circle. The second circle is to hook six pins. Adding needles means being in the same hook needle two short order. Pins. First hook a braid pin as a standing pin. Turn the wire around. This is a standing pin. And then continue in the needle head of the hook. Hook an extra needle. It's two short needles going through the needle. Hooking and winding together with hooking. Okay, once the stitch is done, we also hang the marker buckle. Hook another short needle in the same needle. And a needle the is also hooked with two short needles. Keep going for the second round and finish with sharp short pins. Alright, after the second it lap, is also the same as that of the pin of the same hook buckle. Draw pin. Through the needle eye, hook the thread over, then continue to hook the coil on the crochet. Tighten a little bit. Adjust the coil. Hook a braid pin to serve as a standing pin for the third loop. The third circle is sharp short pins without adding or subtracting. In the hook, a short needle is drawn into the needle head of a the drawing needle. addition or subtraction. Through the needle hooking eye. Hooking and winding together with hooking. Through the needle eye. Hooking and winding together with hooking. After the third loop, we stretch the coil and share of this in the third circle, widening the coil, then break. Pull the wire out of this coil. Put on the suture needle. After the suture needle is put through, pass the suture needle through the first needle hole. Here, the first needle of the third lap goes through. 
Titan Eater Eater Beat. And then it goes through the last stage. This needle goes back inside. Tighten up a little bit. Tighten it up like this and hide the thread. Set this line a little bit in the middle. Alright, that's it. Then cut the end of the line a little bit shorter. So the part of the heart of the hook. Let's do the green line. Continue to hook the jaw of the flower. The part of the jaw and the part the of the heart. The stitch is exactly the same. Start by winding the thread to the index finger. Then pinch the thread in a circular on your middle finger. Use the thicker end of the crochet hook. Start with a standing pin. Crochet through the loop. Turn the wire around. Twist the wire and hook it back. This is a standing pin. Hook your short pin. The first loop goes through the pin raising loop. Hooking and winding together with hooking. Hand the first pin with marker buckle. Mark the, keep going through, hook up the needle loop and draw the thread. Press through the needle lifting loop, winding and hooking. Press through the needle lifting loop, winding and hooking. Continue with the fifth stitch. Lil the needle. Alright, that's six short stitches in the first round. Then tighten the coil. And the pin of the number buckle. That is, the first needle hooks a drawing needle. Through the needle eye. Hook the thread over. Then continue to hook the coil on the crochet. Tighten. Adjust the coil. Loop R. Hook a braid pin as a standing pin. The second circle is also hooked Hook with two six short pins. stitches into the same needle it's head. It's just a plus needle. In the needle that drew the needle, go through the needle and hook the thread to bring the thread together. Thread it through the needle and bring it through. The next stitch is thread it through the needle. Hook a short needle again. Alright, let's move on. After the second circle is hooked, there are sharp short pins. Alright, lap 2 is hooked. Hook a draw needle with the first needle. Press through the needle. Continue to hook the coil on the crochet hook. In the third circle, stand a braid pin as a standing pin. The third circle is the hook without adding or subtracting sharp short needles. Start needle. with the needle that seduces the hook needle. Hook a short needle. Continue to tick without adding or subtracting. Alright. Lap 3 is hooked. Pull out the coil when you're done. Bolt. Pull the thread out. Put on the suture needle. Twist the thread. It is easier to thread the needle by tightening it Put on this the way. suture needle. This thread ends with the first stitch. Pass the suture needle through the first stage of the third turn. Back to the last stage. Pull the thread a little tighter. And then head line. J 
just pick any place to wear it. Hide this thread. Okay, there we go. Then cut the end of the thread short. You can leave a little bit without cutting it off completely. That should do it. So that's the flower jaw. And then we put the jaw and the heart like this. To put a needle eye facing a needle like this. And then hook the petals. Take the purple thread fiber ribbon. Loop the little finger to the index finger. Pinch the end of the line with your thumb and middle finger. Just leave it a little longer at the end. Center the heart and the jaw. Put them back to back. And then you put it on your middle finger like Hold this. Hold it with your thumb. So we can start to hook the petals. Cut the thicker end of the crochet through the eye. Notice when threading the needle, the needles on both sides of the flowers enter and calyx must be penetrated. Winding. Take to come over. First hook some braid pins as the standing Turn pins. the wire around. Wrap the wire around. Wrap the wire around. So that's three braid pins. Then continue to hook a long needle. Hook a long needle in the same head. Wind the thread through the needle. Hook the thread over. Wind the wire through the first two coins. Then wind the wire through the remaining two coins. That's a long needle hook. Then hook a long needle. Make a puff thread inside the same needle. Around the two laps. Go around the crochet hook. Then pass through the needle. Hook the line here. Wind the wire through the first two coils. Winding through the. And then the first two coils. Good. And then you wind the wire and you go through the other two coils. So long it will hook. Then hook two braid pins. Turn the wire around. Wire hook to Here come are over. two braid pins. Then pick the inside of the first braid pin. So I pick this portrait here. Pick this one right here. Hook a dog to spool needle. Hook the thread over, and then you go through this coil on the hook. This is a dog to spool needle. Continue to hook a long needle into the next needle. A long needle. Wind the wire, wind the wire twice. Inside the next order of needles, pass through the order of needles. Pay attention to the needle must be. It goes on both sides. Hook the thread over. Winding. Hook the first two coils. Winding hook over the front two coils winding. Hook the two coils below. Hook a long needle when it is finished. The same needle is wound inside through the needle. Hook the thread over. Coil the wire over the first two coils. The winding hook is the two coils under the excess. Next, hook some braid pins. Turn the wire around. After the three braid pins are hooked, hook a draw pin. Through the needle eye, hook the thread over. And then you go through this coil on the hook. This is a drawing needle. Hook three more braid pins. After the three braid pins are hooked, again, 
poke a needle into the needle head. When the thread through the needle, hook the thread over. Winding through the first two coils, wind the wire through the remaining two coils, and then again in the same order, hook a long needle, wind the wire twice. Through the needle eye, hook the thread over. Wind the wire through the first two coils. The winding continues through the first two coils. Wind the wire through the remaining two coils. So this is a long, long hook needle. the two braid pins. Hook the thread over. I'm going to go through the Upang crochet hook. This is a dog to pull needle. To continue, hook a long needle into the next needle. Wind the wire twice. Through the needle eye. Hook the thread over. Winding. Hook over the first two coils. The first two coils. The winding hook is the two coils under the excess. Continue to hook along needle. Wind the thread through the needle first. Hook the thread over. Coil the wire over the first two coils. The winding hook is the two coils under the excess. Alright, three braid pins. Hook a drawing needle into the next needle. Good. Take to come over. Continue to hook the coil on the hook. Hook three more braid pins. Draw a long needle around the thread. It's in the head of the braid needle. Hook a long needle. Wrap the wire over the first two. The winding hook is the two coils under the excess. Hook a long needle. It's still in the same order. Hook two braid pins. Hook a dog to spool needle. Continue to hook a long needle in two loops. Hook inside the next needle. Through the needle eye. Winding to come over. Coil the wire over the first two coils. Continue to hook a long needle. After the long needle is hooked, hook and braid needles. Lead to the next needle. Hook and braid pins. Make a rising pin for the next petal. Draw a long needle around the thread. Hook a long needle around it twice. Hook two braid pins. Pick the top half stitchy. Bring it over and continue through the loop on the crochet hook. Press the crochet needle down. Hook another long needle in the next needle order. Hook a long needle. Hook some braid pins.
Lead to the next needle. Hooks and braid pins. Draw on it or out the thread. Hook a long needle by twirling the thread. Hook two braid pins. Hook into a dog to spool needle. Continue to Hook a long needle into the next needle. When into laps, through the needle eye. Cancel the Wind the wire through the first two coils. Wind through the first two coils and then wind again. Hook a long needle by winding the thread each through turn. the needle eye. Cancel the Thread through the first two. Wind the thread through the next two. Hooks and braid pins. Stretch out the coil. Adjust the crochet the heart of the flower to this part of the flower jaw. We wise. need to add a little padding. Add it to the heart of the flower. Put the coil on the crochet. Go ahead and hook the last petal. First hook a drawing needle into the next needle. Take to come over. Turn the wire around. Continue to hook a Through the needle eye. I want to wear both of them. Hook the thread over. And then you go through this coil on the hook. Hooks and braid pins as the standing pins. Hook a long needle and thread it through the needle. Hook the thread over to wind the thread. Hook a long needle. Or on the two laps. Through the needle eye. Hook over the first two winding wires. Keep taking over the first two. The two overlaid by the winding hook. Hook two braid pins. Pick the first braid pin. The thread continues to hook the coil on the crochet hook. Hook along needle and twirl the thread. Through the needle eye. Hook the thread over. Coil the wire over the first two coils. Coil the wire over the first two coils. Check the next two. Draw on needle or on the thread. Hooks and braid pins. Alright. Three so pigtails hooked And up. the first stage here hooks a drawn needle. Be sure to wear the needle eye of the flower jaw and the flower heart. Keep going back. Pull the coil large enough to break the wire. Pull the coil out completely. Put on the suture needle. Draw the end of the thread from the first stage here. Put it on your back. 
Go to the back and thread it to this purple one. Hide it in the wire. Then cut off any excess ends. Same thing over here. Put on the suture needle. Thread him into the end of this purple thread. Give him a little tail to hide. Cut off any excess thread. So a clematis is hooked and then adjust the petals. Let the petal concave inward. So you've got a clematis. The following. Let's put it together. You need to use a flower pole. The flower pole is folded in half and cut in You two. can cut it with scissors or pliers. This half is already cut. It's one centimeter down here. About a centimeter and give him a bend like that. Just bend it like this. And then it goes through the middle of the heart of the flower here. Through the middle of the alligator right here. Force it to the inside. Let's pull it a little bit harder. And I'm gonna pick him up with this suture needle. Get the rod all the way inside. Now it's completely inside. Let's give it a little bit of a tug. That's it. And then we're going to wrap this rod. Use this green thread of the same color as the flower jaw and leaf. Leave about 5 cm like that. Start winding. I can wrap this around a little bit more at first. And then I'm going to wrap it down fairly evenly. It's got to be about 6 cm around here. You can add leaves. The front side of the leaf faces the flower stalk. And then wrap it around. Make sure this is tight. And then pull it wrap over it around and then add another leaf. The two leaves are placed opposite each other like this. Hold. We're on a circle again. Keep going down. So you can wrap it down about a you centimeter. You can disconnect. Leave about 10 centimeters of thread broken. And then we tie a knot here. Put your finger on the line. Loop the thread around the flower rod. And then the end of the wire goes through this coil. Tighten. Keep going on the one more time. Tighten. Adjust the rods and the leaves. Such a wire is connected to the Combination of good, 